good afternoon all mm. today i take an dc and subject in that uh, i am telling about the uh, network models uh, so uh, today uh, network is a main important function in our daily life so here uh, the concept of layers in our daily life is uh, more using we have to use in this so we have to take one example so in that we have to take two friends communicate through the postal itself so communication should be done with respect to the postal or mail whatever it may be so then one friend uh, should send the information to other and that again uh, he has to resend back the information to the uh, first friend or question so uh, the services should be available uh, from the post office itself the main functions in this network model we have to use the server receiver carrier hierarchy okay this is the hierarchy of this uh, networking models so next is coming for the information sending um, from one one to another receiver to so these are the main tasks involved in the sending a letter to is another friend see sender receiver two persons are there so first person that information should be sending to second person or uh, through this hierarchy so the letter is written put in the envelope and uh, dropped in the mailbox then that must be carried from the mailbox to a post office then after post office that letter should be uh, delivered to carrier by the post office itself then this is the transaction transfer information sender should be sending Uh, through this hierarchy to the another person next the parcel is carried from the source to the destination so that parcel should be carried from the source to the uh, destination itself next letter again so again that information should be uh, taken by the receiver through these functions okay now so totally um, the letter is delivered from the carrier to the post office next letter is carried from the post office to mailbox next letter is picked up uh, removed from the envelope and read by that receiver itself so total three layers are higher levels uh, higher layers middle layers and lower layers this is the main task should be involved in the sending of the uh, letter so coming for the osi model that must be established in 1947 international standard organization so this is a multinational body dedicated to worldwide agreement on international standards so iso standard covers all aspects of network communications is the open system interconnection so that is osi model so it was first introduced in uh, the 1970s okay iso is an organization osin is a model uh, that is open systems interconnection this is one or uh, model in the organization iso iso is the one organization itself next coming for discussing of the seven layers of the osi model so this osi model um, having a total seven layers so first layer is a physical layer next data link layer next network layer next transport layer next session layer next presentation layer next application layer total seven layer should be there in this osi model so osi is one model iso is an organization let us we have to discuss about all these seven layers which is carried in osi model so coming for next the interaction between layers in this osi model so this is the main block diagram a figure which is uh, discussing about the device one and device two already we know about the uh, systems sender is the a then b is a receiver so we can say device or system whatever it may be so sender or receiver so this first hierarchy application presentation session transport network data link physical then again physical data link network transport session presentation application the first layer is physical layer second layer data link layer third layer network layer fourth one transport layer fifth one session layer sixth one presentation layer then seventh one application layer so the information should be sent from device a to device b through all these layers higher layers middle layers and lower layers uh, see uh, in this we have to explain each layer so physical data link 
network, a transport, a session, presentation, and application. We have to discuss each one in this function. Next, sender to receiver uh, through coaxial cable. We have to transmit the data from device A to device B. So next, layers in the OSI model. So we have to discuss about uh, the session briefly. Uh, so the functions of each layer in the OSI model. So these are the layers already I discussed. Physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, application. Then, so we have to discuss about briefly all these functions. So coming for the physical layer, see, transmit a media. So from data link layer to the information should be uh, physical layer, entire information should be uh, through, a, uh, uh, through a bit itself. So in physical layer responsible for a moments of individual bits from one hope to the next or one node to the another. So individual bits should be sending from one to another, one hope to another like this. Here they are given the information, uh, data link layer. Um, it is taking the information from a data link layer. Then it must be converted into the individual bits of the data. Then it must be transferring through transmission media to the physical layer of the sender part itself. Then it must be connected to the data link layer. This is the main uh, responsibility of the uh, physical layer. Next coming for the data link layer. So framework. So in data link layer, so we have to see about the main information of the data link layer is responsible for moving from one hope to the another. So the main responsible of this data link layer is the frame information. So whatever data that must be um, converted into frame, then that must be transferred to the physical layer next to the physical layer next to the that data bit should be converted to the frames like this so so this is the data link layer next to coming for the network layer so in this network layer so this is the main responsible for the delivering of individual packets from the source or to the destination of packets so in physical layer, we have to discuss about the bits information, um, then data link layer with a framework. Then here we have to discuss about the packets. The information should be, um, um, uh, the information should be uh, converted into individual packets in the network layer. That information to data link data link to physical then transmit media to sender itself so source to destination we have to send the information out through your individual brackets so this is the information about the network layer next uh, coming for the transport layer so uh, transport layer uh, so this is the main function so it, the responsibility of the transport layer to deliver of messages from one process to another process. So this information should be taken from the session layer and this must be due to the network layer. So in this transport layer, it must be considered the segmentations through how to deliver the information or message from one process to the another process. So see this here, they're given the block diagram for explaining of the uh, transport layer through this. We have to take and we have to send the information, processing information. So in the transport layer. Next, coming for the session layer, so dialogues. So in this, we have to main uh, responsible for this dialogue control and synchronization. So see this presentation layer. We are taking the information from presentation layer and we have to uh, take this dialogue control and synchronization in this session layer, then we have to give to the transport layer. This is the main purpose of the session layer. Next, coming for the presentation layer. So in this presentation layer, so we have to responsible for translation, compression and uh, encryption. All this should be done in this presentation layer. So this must be taken from the application layer itself. So already one about the seven layers, we are discussing each layer with respect to the figure diagram, which are present here in this PPT. So um, 
in this responsible for the translation compression and encryption so all information should be translates or compression or encapsulation should be done in this presentation layer so after physics after application layer we have to discuss these things in this presentation layer after that we have to give the in the session layer so in this session layer already we discussed so coming for session layer we have to go for the dialogue control and centralization transport layer in that we have to do the processing of one process to another process next individual packet we have to convert that message into individual packets next that packet should be responsible for a frame so one one to another so next uh, physical layer should be converted all these the message into a bits so that is the main purpose of the all up to presentation layer so next uh, coming for the application layer so in this we have to provide the services to the user itself human or program whatever it may be first to have to go for sender or receiver itself for this conditions we have to take the user one user two device a or device b or human or or itself or we can go for the program itself so for this how to the main responsible for providing the services to the user itself so first we have to provide the services for these conditions after that so we have to connect to the presentation layer so presentation layer application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer then physical layer so we have to give the services in this application layer this is the main purpose of the application layer and these are the main uh, seven layers we are discussing in this osi model so already we discussed iso is an organization os is a one model itself so coming for this brief information we have to discuss about all this layer itself see this 1 to 7 total 7 layers higher layers are there medium layers are there then lower layers are there so coming for application so in this first we have to take the information to allow access to the network resources so here we are taking a uh, two functions user one user two a device a or device b or sender or receiver same encryption should be done in the sender means description should be done in the receiver information so this is the main uh, function so in this application the main purpose is this allow access to network resources so we have to allow the network accesses access to the network functions so this is the main function in the application next coming for the presentation so in this presentation we have to do the translate so we have to do the information translation or encryption and compression the data so that is the main thing in the presentation so whatever uh, accessing the information or access given to the network in the application layer after that so that information should we have to translate or we have to use any language any codes we have to use or we have to do the compression also in this presentation like try english telugu tamil whatever it may be so next coming for the after presentation we have to connect this information to session so in this we have to establish manage and terminate the sessions so whatever should be done in the session layer itself or we have to establish or we have to manage or we have to try uh, terminate the information in this we have to do in the session layer next coming for the transport uh, so this is the medium layer in the seven layers so it must be reliable process to process manage delivery and error recovery so if suppose any error should be there in this so we have to recover that errors in this and we have to send the information itself next coming for the network layer so in this network layer so to move packets from source to destination to provide internet working so the main purpose of this uh, network layer is packet so whatever information we are getting from transport layer uh, that delivered message should be converted into packet packet means message so that must be uh, most that 
packets from source to destination for providing of the interconnecting working of both source and destination are sent to the receiver itself next coming for the data link layer the main purpose of this data link layer is framework uh, then to provide hope to hope deliver so the organization bits so whatever we are taking from the network that that bit should be that packet should be converted into the framework frame then after so we have to provide hope to hope deliver then we have to deliver the information from sender to the receiver like the, next coming for the physical layer so to transmit bits over a medium to provide mechanical and electrical specifications so coming for this physical layer in this that entire frame should be converted into an individual a frame should be converted to into bits zeros and ones that information this is summary of all layers whatever information we are taking from physical layer that information individual bit should be transmit to the next physical layer through a transmitter media the transmitter media should be acting as a coaxial cable whatever maybe how to use a transmitting medium again physical layer with information bits information data link with framework network with uh, a uh, packets the transport so whatever information should be delivered in this we have to recover these errors or whatever it may be modified information in transport layer next uh, session layer we have to know about the session layer to establish and manage what next presentation layer we have to translate and uh, should be done in this presentation next we have to give the information to the access that must be done accessing of the network should be done in the application layer so these are the uh, OSI model with uh, seven layers. Thank you.